so for velocities, there's a, I think, a few different that you've seen. You've seen just velocity in general. There's general. Uh, you've seen average velocity. You've seen uh, average velocity, the square of the average velocity. You've seen the square, of the, av the square root of the average velocity. This one happens to equal u r m s. Root means square velocity. And then you've seen the mode velocity. Okay? So let me show you what the differences between those are. In general, we're not going to use this one because we're talking about uh, a system of gas molecules and they have lots of different velocities at any given temperature. So this is not helpful to us, but it just means the velocity if you had one entity. This is just the average, just like you would take any other average. So it would be u bar means like the velocity of molecule 1 plus the velocity of molecule 2 plus the velocity of molecule 3 dot 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 divided by the total number, whatever the total number of molecules is. That's the average. The average square, this is an important one to know, the average square means that you add up the squares of each one. So velocity of 1 squared plus velocity of 2 squared plus velocity of 3 squared dot 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 all the way up and divide by the total number, I'll just say n. This does not equal, uh, well, yeah, does not equal u squared. I'll just say that. You can't just say it equals some, something squared. Uh, now, this one here, the root mean square velocity is this, okay, which means that. Okay, and this does not equal u bar. You cannot take the square root of this and get u bar. Just mathematically, it doesn't work. Okay, so if you're given velocities, you just square the first one, the second one, third one, so how many ever you have, and divide by the total number. Okay, so that's how that's different. Uh, and this is different than the average velocity because the average doesn't have squares in here. Now, if I was going to graph velocity versus like percentage of molecules having that velocity, say in this room, it will look something like this with a big tail on the right hand side, meaning that really close to the top but not at the top would be your average velocity. Somewhere right next to that, not equal, but next to it, really close, would be your root mean square velocity, which is this. Okay. Your mode velocity is the one that has the most. That's that one right there. Whatever there's the most of, that's the mode. You can see how they're all similar, and if you have the average, if you have one, approximately you know all the rest. And it just turns out that, uh, like in chemistry and physics, when you talk about gases, root mean square velocity mathematically just pops up all over the place. So that's why we talk about it a lot. Uh, is that okay? Yeah.